Welcome to Music Monday. Welcome to Music Cyber Monday, actually. And today on the Chopping Block, we have a fun one. Hot box the car. All right, let me go back and try to remember how this one came out. I do remember that we were playing a uh, show up for Captain Nick in Woodbine, Maryland. And we were down there in the man cave watching probably Braves baseball and Lord knows what else was going on. And Captain Nick fired off this term, hot box the car. And I had never heard that a kid growing up in the 70s and I didn't even know what that meant so he told me what it meant if you don't know what it means you can google it and look it up but it's right out of a Houston Chong movie so I thought it was hilarious so I said you know what I'm gonna have to write a song about hot box in the car so I did now everything in this song uh, the lyrics are all true everything happened and it's kinda based on the whole idea is how when I grew up in the 70s FM radio first came and had come on board on the scene and you got all this incredible kinds, different kinds of genres of music that you never did get to hear on AM radio. I mean, the format really broadened out. There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, so many good rock bands and different kinds of music coming through, and it was all good. It didn't matter if it was a funk band or a Motown band or a proggy rock band like Rush or you know any kind of rock band, progressive rock band. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. And the radio were playing all these kinds of acts. You know, you don't see that type of diversity so much anymore. Radio is pretty much dead. But back in those days, it was really something spectacular. I mean, you could just turn to any of your favorite rock stations anywhere, and especially FM, and get a broad mix of all kinds of different music. Uh, so this whole song is really autobiographical. It tells a story about basically me growing up as a kid and all the incidents that went on where there was probably... Uh, hot boxing the car involved either I was uh, a passenger or a participant I won't I won't exempt myself from some of that but some some of it I certainly was not but man it brought back some great memories of riding down um, the Greenville Highway with the Jackson boys listening to Dark Side of the Moon the first time and you know Thor and I going up in the forest when we were working at camp counselors and just all we did was talk about music and listen to music uh, and how the rock stations that we used to dial into were so important for us you know, to hear new stuff find new stuff that we liked and we'd go out to record stores and of course buy albums. Nobody makes albums anymore hardly but those you know you could get a big album, read all the stuff in it and it kind of really gave you a connection with the with the band or whoever it was you're into. So Meyer had this piece of music, John wrote the music and um, it's just kind of a really you know rock and bluegrass piece. I put some Gidjo to it and said here write some lyrics to it. So we kind of sat there with it for a month or so before Nick came up with the term Hot box of the car, and that's where the whole thing came from. So, fun song, you know. Not all of them have to be have to be so heavy and introspective. This one's just more about telling stories of when you were a kid growing up, listening to rock and roll music and all kinds of stuff, and um, and having a good time. So that's it today on the chopping block for Music Monday is Hot Box the Car, and as Paul Harvey would say, now you know the rest of the story.